from Axios, Twitter refuses to rem remove Marjorie Taylor Greene's transphobic tweets. I have so much to say. Here we oh, go, boy. Queen. Twitter on Monday labeled but refused to take down a pair of highly transphobic tweets attacking Admiral Rachel Levine, the Assistant Secretary of Health for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Why it matters. Twitter has a practice of often labeling but not removing tweets from elected officials that would otherwise violate its terms of service. The tweets linked here misgender Levine while also using extremely vile terminology to describe gender reassignment surgery. So Twitter's insane. move means that people have to click through a warning to view the tweets. Twitter will also limit sharing of the posts. What they're saying, quote, the tweet you referenced violated the Twitter rules of hate on hateful conduct, Twitter said in a statement to Axios. However, we've determined that it may be in the public's interest for the tweets to remain accessible and has been labeled in line with our policies. I just want, I just want to pause real quick and say, if there is a barrier to seeing a statement from a public official, Twitter is engaged in polit politicking. Mm. They are engaged mm. in providing special favors for certain politicians and political ideologies. Right. That has to be stopped, okay? You, like, imagine if during the civil rights movement, all the big companies were like, you're not allowed to advocate for these things because they're unpopular, so we won't even cover them in the newspaper. Or if we do, people have to pay extra. I mean, you need people to be able to talk about ideas. Glad the LGBTQ rights, civil, uh, civil rights group condemned the, uh, the move, saying, this account has repeatedly and intentionally violated Twitter's hateful conduct guidelines against targeted dead naming and misgendering of trans people. A Glad spokesperson told Axios, it's clear that some politicians see pushing malicious anti-trans content on social media as part of their election strategy, even with the full knowledge that such content is violative. Um, I'll say this. Jamie brought up the point before the show <laughs> that Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, do you want to just say it? She, how, I how mean, you? okay, I'll set this up so you can read. <laughs> So you can read the tweet. Oh, no, we're not going to read the tweet. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna read oh, it. we can't. No, you we guys can't. have yeah. to. Okay. <laughs> you guys have to read. The, guys, guys, listen to me. Everyone grab a drink and go read the tweet because it is a masterpiece. Uh, <laughs> this tweet is so. I mean, I think both left and the right would agree. Yes. Really it is taking something that should be super simple. That we should all agree on. Um, it, Do not it, give sex changes to children. Yes. That's it. That's all you have to say. Her, <laughs> she could have spent less time tweeting if she just wrote, don't give sex change to children. And then she could have gone and hung out with her kids or done whatever she did. Instead, she was like, what if I write what something I completely <laughs> nuts and I'll have some rhymes in there Aww. and I'll just, and like, I can't, she will make things that should be simple insane and inf and, and and offensive where it's like hey i don't like wearing masks and she's like got it i'm gonna bring up nazis and you're like no what? don't do that? Over, over, do that over over the top so i can understand the anger hands down admiral rachel levine made a video advocating for affirmation of children which means trans sex sex change operations for children and medical intervention and sterilization and things like that and Marjorie Taylor Greene naturally is angry. But Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, look, you know, we've had her on the show. We'll have her on the show uh, again soon. Right. I, I think there's a lot, that's so, so much about it that's fantastic, the way she challenges Congress. In this instance, and 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 we'll talk about it because you, I, something like Alex Stein is going to happen again. But I just feel like the, the righteous indignation wasn't there. Instead, it came out as like unserious. Like silly. It's, and it's hard to take her seriously when she takes stuff to like an offensive and ridiculous place. It's Trumpian. Yeah. It's Trumpian. So I, I got to say this, you know, we're talking about it now. And maybe that's why we see a lot of this. If she came out and just said, this is wrong, we wouldn't be saying anything about the issue of giving sex change operations to children mm -hmm. coming from the government, right? A advocacy coming from the government. And so, you know, look, I don't like the way she framed it. I'm glad the conversation is being put in the forefront. And there's a problem in this country if that's how it has to get done. So let me make this point about Alex Stein. I criticized him for calling AOC Big Booty Latina. And I'm like, what does that accomplish? And then it turns out a lot, actually, because AOC then came out and called 1-6 effectively an inside job because of the lack of security at the Capitol. And I was like, wow, that's like really strange. Pretty cool. But let me just say, like, we got a problem with, I guess, humanity. If you have to do things like this to generate a conversation about screwed up things. Because I, I was about to make the exact point that you made with Stein, 
where I was going to be like, who is thinking I'm going to let my kid transition? And then they jump on Facebook and they're like, peen queen. And then suddenly they change their mind. Who is that actually helping? Even us talking about it. We're not talking about it. We're not talking about child safety right now. We're talking about this dumb tweet. But I also, no, you know, it, I, it, I thought all the Trump stuff was wasn't gonna work, and it and it worked. I th- I feel like what ends up happening with people like Marjorie Taylor Greene or Alex Stein is they take the brunt of the ire, and then a conversation is erupts around the issue. Well, and I think you nailed it. Where it's like, this, it's like the it, system is broken. We should oh, be yeah. able to talk about it, just being like, hey, what's best for kids? Can we have that conversation? Oh. It shouldn't be about you know clickbait tweets. You know, we we try to have. I, I, I'm just wondering if the time for decorum is meaningless. The the, the time to for for cordiality or uh, collegial behavior is just it's out. Well, maybe she could at least get a little more creative so that her shock factor isn't at the expense of others. Because yeah. it's always well, offensive to one group or another. Yeah, but the issue here is what neither side cares at all about the other side. So why why is why are the Democrats doing a one sided January sixth trial? Because they don't care to convince Republicans. They want to rile up Democrats to get them to vote. They think we've locked it in. There's no one else to get. Get them riled up. Marjorie Taylor Greene, I'd assume, I, I'd, I'll ask her, like, why, like, what was your thought behind this tweet? Like, <laughs> Can we you be know, like, walk us through your creative yeah, process, here, please? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's an unserious tweet. Like, I mean, hands down, you, you, I'm sure a lot of people thought it was funny. I'm sure a lot of people. No one thought it was funny. That's not true. She's got major fans. She's huge. She raised more money. I'm pretty sure than like any other member of Congress. <laughs> what is happening? Because because she does things like this. Yeah. And that's why Trump was able to do it too. No, that's yeah. Because there are a lot of people who just want the the the, the symbols and the machine behind what they oppose to be struck down. Right. Mm. So for Antifa, it's a brick through a window. Does mm. the brick through the window actually change the system? No. Right. And doesn't even start a conversation. The one thing I can say to this is like, I don't like the tweet, but she got people talking about it. The 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 uh, sec- assistant secretary for the Health and Human Services is advocating for child for children to get sex change operations. Right. Okay. Well, look, fine. Regular, moderate individuals, post liberals, disaffected liberals, we can all sit here and be like, I don't like the things she said. It's like, well, who else is calling out and standing up against? The government advocating for this kind of stuff. Oh, uh, the worst part is going to be when I meet her and I like her. She's and you great. will. You, you will <laughs> like this is the funny You'll thing. Like, like I, I, I told Jamie this before. I was like, Jamie, you're going to agree with everything she says. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it so much. We, we, you we, guys won't tell anybody, right? No. Guys, I can't lose the new followers I got post cancellation. <laughs> Come you're, on, keep it between us. From you. things like this, obviously, people are going to be like, Ugh, like, there's going to be a lot of people who very much like what she said. And I, she's going to stand by what she said and be like, I'm allowed to say it and all that stuff. And she is. And there's going to be a lot of people like us, former liberals or still traditional liberals that yeah. have like aligned with the moderates, libertarians and right because the woke stuff's crazy. And we're going to like, you know, kind of be like, Ugh, she's right. But like, did she have to say it that way? Right. And in the end, um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because there's nothing that's going to get me to join the side of those giving sex change operations to children. So... It doesn't matter. She can say whatever she wants. Twitter can choose to ban her or not. Her saying something that I might not like, in, or saying something I, I agree with, but in a way I don't like, won't change the fact that the left already hates her. They're going to keep hating her. The right likes her. I just feel like both sides have said, we've got everybody we can get. Let's roll. With and it. if the left was intelligent at all, they would see that even with that 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 people like us are aligning closer with ludicrous tweets like that than the policies they're putting forward and they would go hey maybe we need to back up a little bit like maybe we're screwing up if people are siding with this mm. <laughs> there's two distinct cultures in this country and there's no mending that divide anymore there was a period where it was one country split splitting down the middle but we are well past that point this is an example of it What's happening in uh, with DC with Colbert is an example of it. There's Team A, Team B. There's Team Red. There's Team Blue. And if a Team Red person walks into the courtroom that, and, and it's in a Team Blue district, they're going to be like, I, I think there's lock more. Them up. I don't identify with 
political teams, like people that are like, my team's the right Republican red, my team's the left Democratic blue. I'm like, I got a team. If I'm on a team, it's not a pol politics team. I'm bored with politics. I don't like blab it. I, it just, I'm on team like science. If there's like a, you know, quantum science team, that's, you know, my. So except, I, except Ian, if, if you were criminally charged in DC, they would just convict you simply because you're on this I show. I wouldn't make assumptions. You never know. And it depends on what it's for and what I did. What do you mean make you know, assumptions? Sometimes people deserve to be convicted. The Colbert people are being released. The January 6th people are not. And it's the exact same crime. In fact, well, it's the Colbert different... people were warned not to be there. And they were there after hours, too. They knew they weren't so supposed to be there. So it's worse. But the other people were involved in a violent no, they weren't. You know, attack on the building. Well... They were there. This is a big problem. When someone's a half a block away from a crime that's going on, are they implicated in the thing going no, on a block away? They're not. Of course not. Of course not. So, so, the, so in this building, is, those people on the other side of the building the should is, be released, in my opinion. Right. But pardoned why, and why, released. Why, so at the very least, there may be people who get released. But my point is, it's not hypothetical, bro. Like, we're watching it literally happen. The, the, the previous administration is arresting former Trump officials. Steve Bannon just left court today. Like... He is being criminally charged because the Democrats have forced people to go in and, and testify and provide statements that they're taking out of context in a non-adversarial show trial for January 6th. They put me in their January 6th evidence. And this my dad texted me about that and was like, hey, where are you working? And I was like, please, please oh, wait know. till send him the op ed. I did <laughs> send him Newsweek and say N Newsweek was so shocked to see me included in the evidence that they asked me to write an op-ed because they were like, <laughs> they put the fence sitter milk toast guy <laughs> in with the guys calling for a red wedding. The point is, Raskin doesn't care. Dude is literally like 15 minutes away from us, yeah. by the way. And we have employees in his district. They don't care. My point is, you we're at a time now where you, Ian, might be like, I don't want to be on anyone's team. That's okay. They chose for you. It's like Plato said. I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not against these people. That's the difference. If you go into a situation being like, you all are going to convict me. I know it. Those people are going to be like, yeah, we're way more likely to do that now. But if you go in there saying, I've got an idea to help us all, they're going to be way less likely to convict you. That's, I think you're just, it's just, it's it's just, just It's wrong. just social dynamics. You, I don't know why you think you're, you're, you know, outside of what they're all actually, what's actually happening. It's like, you, you can watch it happen. We can see it happen. You can comment on it happening, saying it's wrong, and then be like, but it wouldn't happen to me. I don't get it. I just want to live in Ian's that. world. You seem, he seems so much happier that way. <laughs> it's re <laughs> resolution. I was, I, I was like, Ian, what? Yeah, I, like I'm picturing Ian in the courtroom, like, brothers, sisters, come together. Can't we all get along? And everyone's like, like, yeah, yes, that's can. what I want. I'm not even making fun of you. I legitimately then, want that. Then, I'm talking about like pulling carbon out of then, the atmosphere. We can right. do lots of cool stuff. And then the juror says, Your Honor, I don't care what Ian just said because of who he affiliates with. Like they did with Steve Bannon. Cringe. Oh, I, I, okay, who's this juror that doesn't care about the evidence? That is like, in the can trial Can I defend right myself now. in this clown trial you've created? Yes, and right now is <laughs> Steve Bannon. Right now with Steve Bannon, that's what's happening. Well, what's going on with him? What, so why? apparently, and again, I, I saw a report. Someone said a juror told the judge, I don't care what he they says. He should be extracted from the courtroom. Yes, that's exactly. Nuts. And yeah. the point is, in D.C., we are literally watching people get released from committing a crime in which they were warned not to do it, did it anyway, <laughs> And on January 6th, a 69-year-old cancer patient is going to jail for two months in, in because fair, it is a two-tiered system. I don't know what she did. I don't, I don't know the extent of why. Fair point. Um, I don't either. But she was, she was charged with trespassing. That's that would have been funny if like we're defending her and she was just planting like explosives yeah, she's on the, one, the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's the one that was waving them in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, with the, uh, she's like, I only have a little bit to live. Let's take this place <laughs> down. I, I don't know. I, I don't think that people that have been trespassing right now on capital property should be arrested at all. I, I'm not playing double standards here. I'm not like, well, they did it to them, which was wrong. So do it to them, which will no. still be wrong. Too wrong. Wrongs don't make a right. What I'm saying is that situation. you are subject to the same system as everybody else. I understand that part. Right. You 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 might say, like, I don't want to be in your team, and I totally get it. You're right. But you are whether you want to be or not. Well, and they will choose for I you. I mean, we all have tribes. We have personal tribes and friendships and communities and stuff like that. But, but it doesn't have to be a political team. I never believe this, and, and I was, you know, but uh, Tim made this point the last time I was on the show, and unfortunately, it's like, from what I've seen on social media, it's like, you're right, which is... The right is far much more accepting 
right now to people with diverse views than the left is. And and I know that because people on the left who have been fans of mine, who when I started coming on this show without listening would be like, you're out. And then people on the right who found me on this show will write me and go, hey man, I don't agree with you, but like, I'm glad you're on the show or whatever. And to me, one of the reasons that I was on the left that I loved about it was we were supposedly the party of inclusion, right? And now you are far more likely, like you're saying, man, to be completely cut out, whether it's in the court of law, whether it's on social media, even in like friendship groups, I'm hanging out with far more conservative people who probably disagree with me on a lot more than I would be with like a lot of my old woke friends. I, I, I am coming to believe for a variety of reasons, some private reasons, that the left and the right are being divided among a what's the uh, uh, um, a propensity towards on the right morality like a sense of honor duty and uh, responsibility and the left is ignorance or malice mm. and so I say tendency or pro- uh, propensity towards the right has bad people obviously yeah. the right has grifters the right has all that yeah. but it's the exception. If you look at, as I mentioned with the bias checker, you look at people on the right, you'll see they're fairly balanced in trying to understand the world. You'll see that they're very much about, you know, duty or family or protecting or creating. And then you look at the life and it's very much about me, me, mine, I get, I want. The picture of Leah Thomas on the podium standing by themselves where the other women are walking away like the entirety of the event is saying to you, we do not like what you are doing right here. But they don't care. They say, I'm happy. You have stories of these contests, skateboarding contests, where no one will clap or cheer for the biological male competing against females. They don't care. They laugh and they say, so what? I get mine. Did you see that recently Leah Thomas was nominated for NCAA Woman of the Year Award? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alongside Riley Gaines, who was a swimmer who spoke up about tying with her and being pushed off the podium photo. It's shocking. And someone from UPenn didn't get that opportunity at all. Yeah. Thanks for checking out this clip from Timcast IRL. Come hang out live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Super chat. We'll even answer some of your questions. If you want to check out the After Hours censored show, go to TimCast.com and become a member. We put those up Monday through Thursday at 11 p.m. They're very funny, not very family friendly. We'll love to see you there. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you all next time.